Good morning. It is an honor to offer a prayer on this special Remembrance Day. God of love, justice, and mercy, God, author of our faith and center of our worship, God, whose will is love and whose desire is peace. In the words of the hymn writer, you have been with us and our help in ages past, and we sense your presence here today. On this special day of remembrance, we have paused to honor the millions of men and women who with courage, gallantry, and an overriding passion for peace in our time, serve their countries in two major world wars and in other hostilities since that time, many made the supreme sacrifice. They gave their lives for us. And so once again on this November day, not out of tradition or habit, we lift our hearts in thanksgiving to you, O God, for the lives of our veterans and their families, for all who have given their lives for liberty and justice, for all who return from the horrors of war, and all who served on our own shores, especially the mothers, who not only raised their children alone, but worked in munitions factories and other tasks in the war effort. Many are no longer with us, but our gratitude for them lives on in our thoughts and minds as a lasting remembrance. As we enjoy freedom and safety, we are mindful that violence has and is overwhelming our world. We pray for the people of Ukraine where the horrors of conflict and outright cruelty are taking the lives of innocent men, women, and children, their homes, and their well-being. May they feel in some way that they are not alone. The hearts of the world reach out to them. May there come a day when the violence, fear, and pain of war are no longer. We join our prayers in longing for a peace where evil is confronted, injustice exposed, and reconciliation achieved. Help us to remember, lest we forget. This prayer we offer in the name of the Prince of Peace. Amen.